Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. I am Denise. So it's been a minute since I've done a video. So you'll expect at least a video once a week. I will try to upload more, but you know, I got a boo thing now. <laughs> I have a boo thing, meaning I have a man in my life, a special man in my life. So where did I leave off? I did, my last video was a recording of me preparing a, a brunch for him. It was afternoon when we met and I didn't have time to cook and look pretty. So my wonderful colleague, co-worker suggested that I go out and get some things and um, uh, present it in a really nice way with nice dishes and things of that nature. And so that's the last video where I left off, which was around December 15th. So it's been two weeks. And I just need y'all to be patient with me, Annabelle. I hear you loud and clear about my videos and people canceling me. But I'm only one person and I do have a life. And what this channel is about is documenting my journey at 62 from a single person to a married woman. And if I can, to be an inspiration to other mature women in age and in mindset that it is possible to marry or mate with a man of your dreams. So my boo thing and I have been dating for four months. January 3rd will be four months. And I just wanted to give you an update of what has happened without detailing too much private information. Remember, it's a fine line for me between sharing my journey, my pergamous journey with you and revealing too much about my private life and oversharing. So suffice it to say that what I discuss in my videos, I not only talk the talk, but I walk the walk. So I'm not saying do this, do that, and then I do something different behind the scenes. What you see is my dating experiences and what the results have uh, yielded me. So as you know, I've been on this journey for four years and I've documented the dates I've been on through my over 450 videos. I've documented the dates I've been on, what my standards are, and my standards are not un unrealistic. I'm asking the man to come to the table with what I have. And the basics of what I have is a job, a car, and a home, all of which are in my name. And I'm asking him to do the same and to want marriage, not mating. Remember, mating is um, you're setting up house together without any legal documentation. I've never been married and I don't have children. So mating is not something that I feel safe with or secure with, I, even though I know many of my subscribers and viewers are okay with that. And that's fine for you, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for marriage, somebody who's in it to win it. So yeah, so we've been dating for four months. I met him Labor Day weekend and we've been going strong ever since. We have a lot in common. Um, we have fun with each other. We are friends and I met his family, y'all. <laughs> I think I told you, yeah, Thanksgiving, I met his two sisters and we went to one um, the baby sister's home. Now, when I say baby, these women are in their 50s and 60s, but she's the baby of the family. So I went to the baby sister's home, beautiful home. This is in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Um, so I met the baby sister and the oldest sister. And uh, Christmas, I met, no, let me go back. Um, Friday before Christmas, 
I met his youngest daughter and his oldest daughter. And we had dinner together. And that was a wonderful meeting. They're very smart, articulate, beautiful young women, mid thirties, early forties. And then Christmas day, I met the oldest daughter whom I met the Friday before Christmas. So on Christmas day, I met the oldest daughter's mother and her mother's husband and her sisters, her aunts, her mother's sisters, which are the daughter's aunts and the mother, the grandmother. So the mother of the daughter's mother, follow me now, follow me now. So I met the grandmother, the aunties, the nieces, the cousins, the brothers of his oldest daughter. And it was such a wonderful experience on every occasion. Everybody I met was warm and welcoming. You know, everyone has different personalities and everybody's pretty much on their best behavior, including me. <laughs> but it was wonderful. It was really, really wonderful, a wonderful experience. Now, I have not introduced him to any of my family or my friends, um, basically because, and I told him this, because we haven't discussed commitment. He's acting like we're in a committed relationship, but he hasn't had, we have not had the discussion of what commitment looks like for both of us. So I've told him that until that is a discussion, I really don't feel comfortable introducing him to friends and to family because if things do not work out, then I have to deal with the questions and explaining. And I don't have to deal with the explaining part, but the family that I will be introducing to him care about me. They're not the blaming, shaming kind of family members. They are understanding and they they are married. All of them are in long-term marriages. So they understand me, what I'm looking for, and will offer support if I need it. Emotional support, a place to softly land, a place for me to um, share my feelings in a healthy, safe way. So he said that he understood. So yeah, um, I'm going to title this video, The Season of Yes. I like that because you've been on this journey with me for four years, some long, um, some not so, not that long, but you understand where my dating philosophy comes from and how I have grown in my mindset, in my actions. And as I said previously, I am not the kind of person who will say one thing and then do something totally the opposite. I walk the walk as I talk the talk. And I have a couple of... Um, things I would like to share with you. So every year, changing the subject a little bit, every year I look at my, at the previous year, in December, I look at the previous year to determine what things I need to change and what things that I need to do differently. As you know, I, I changed my dating strategy and a couple of months later, I met the man that I'm currently dating. And one of the things I say, well, what makes what makes him different from all the other men that I've dated this entire year, which may have been five, six, seven, I don't know, because I lost count. And it's, I met a man who wants to marry. I met a man who wants to settle down. I met a man who's tired of running the streets. I met a man who um, told me that on the second date that he wanted to settle down, get married, and have a friend and somebody to travel with. And I let him know that I was looking for the same thing. Now, men can say that and not really mean it. But this man has shown up in all ways that are consistent. And he is a man of his word and thus far integrity and 
I feel safe with him. Now, of course, people can, I mean, things can change. And I'm not one to say, you know, right now at the four month mark that this man, you know, is it for me because it takes two to tango. He has to agree that I am it for him. But what I want you to know and what I'm sharing is that so far at this four month mark, he has been showing up. He has been doing what he says he's going to do. He has been planning all of our dates. He has not asked me for money or to pay for anything. He has not asked me how much I make or anything that lets me think that he's trying to get into my pockets, make a life better for him. His home is like twice the size of mine or more and um, in an upscale neighborhood of North Atlanta, a suburb of Atlanta. So I feel pretty good about where we're going and where we're headed. And I will keep you abreast of what's going on. So this is my season of yes. When is your season of yes? Is it now? Are you claiming it for 2024? Let me know in your comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.